Hey everyone, it's Miss Shopsala, and I have a haul today, of course. Um, and it is thrifted. Everything's thrifted, except for two things were from an app. Um, I just wanted to start out and say that everybody was, everybody's been posting their pictures of Zima online. And I had to have one. I'm having one while I do this. And I had to have it because I remember that when I was younger. And let me just tell you, it is as awful as it was back then as it is now. <laughs> Not my favorite. But I have a six pack and now I have been working on it for a week. And I'm trying to get rid of it. So I am going to have a drink because it's been a long week while I film this video. Some people like the Zima. I do not. So, without further ado, I will get into my haul. Um, I will start with these workout pants. Um, as I've said before, I am back in the gym. Um, I am going to get this weight off. And I want to look cute doing it. So, I pick up gym clothes when I see them. And these are... Fila. So I am an Adidas girl, but I am a um, Puma girl first, Adidas second, Fila last, but they were $5 with half off, and they are brand new with tags, and they're just black, like um, skinny leg workout pants, nothing fancy. Um, I'm not a Fila girl. I was back in the day. But I am a Puma girl and a Adidas girl second. No Nike for me, really. Um, I will wear it, but I stay true to my Puma and Adidas. Okay, enough babbly babbly. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do sunglasses. Um, I got these Cole Haan aviators. It's very hard for me to find aviators that look right. Um, I did have, I have Ray-Bans, but I had one pair that looked perfect on me, and one of my best friends tried them on, and they looked great on her too, so I sold them to her. And I haven't been able to find a pair since. I do have one pair of Marc Jacobs that look okay, and a pair of Burberry's. These are Cole Haan. Now, obviously, you can see that the Cole part is scratched off, but I'm going to clean that up. I'm not worried that it has the name on it. They're nice glasses, and they were only $5.00. Um, the next pair, and these were from Savers. Savers is now catching on to their designer sunglasses. But they don't really price them too high, so I'm okay with that. Um, and this is a pair of Coach, which I also got for $5. And they are authentic. And these are cute, too. I like to have these, like, I used to buy, you know, cheap, um sunglasses from TJ Maxx and stuff for like $10 or whatever just for like the beach and garage sailing and stuff because I don't like to wear my designer expensive expensive designer frames to stuff like that but now that I can find expensive designer frames for a price cheaper than what I was paying for um you know like Jessica Simpson I'm all over it so those will be like beach glasses or just whatever ones I'm not worried about um Next were these Tory Birch. They do have black mark there, but I can get that off. Um, these were $5 at my Goodwill, and they are my size, and I am so freaking excited. That will come off. Um, I've been wanting a pair of... I found Tory Birch, but every time I find them, they're not in my size. So then I wind up selling them and praying that I find them in my size. And finally, I did. I did find a pair of... Um, the, what are those, the ballet flats, I forget what they're called, um, I found those a while back in my size, but I'm not really a flats kind of girl, like, I just feel funny, because I'm short, I'm 5'2", so, unless they're sandals, I don't really like flats, I don't know, I don't, I feel like they're not comfortable on my feet, I don't know, I have to have something with a little bit of a wedge. Anyway, I found these coach sandals, and these were $3. They just need to be cleaned up on the bottom. The tops are good. These, I have these in blue. Um, and these are so freaking comfortable. They're like walking on clouds. So those were $3. 
Um, and like I said before in other videos, if you're new to my channel, I do disinfect all my shoes that I keep for myself. Um, I will use Lysol spray. I use the shoe, deo, um, shoe antibacterial whatever spray. And then I will wipe it out with, first I'll wipe it off with, wipe it out with the Clorox bleach. Um, oh my God. Wipes. <laughs> then I'll spray them, um, let it dry, spray it, let it dry, wipe it out again, and then you're good to go. Um, just think about how many people's feet have been in bowling shoes. So, um, these are Coach. Oh, they're so cute. So cute. They were $4.98 at my Amvets, and sadly, they don't fit. They're, like, brand new. Um, they're a six. They're the Gypsy is the name. And... I wish they would fit. I wish, because they're super cute. Um, okay, so, savers. I have a love-hate relationship with savers. I have been finding some good deals lately, but then other times I walk in and they'll have a beat-up coach purse, which they did while I was there, for, what was it? Uh, I think it was $25, and it was beat-up. It was super old. <sighs> So I have a love-hate relationship with them. Now, these. I'm going to need some help, people, because I saw these and I was like, oh, those are funky. The holograph. I know everybody's into that right now. The, the These will come super clean with a um, magic eraser. I'll have these looking like brand new again. And then I looked inside and it says Prada. I don't know if they're real. I don't know. Um, they are leather inside. They do have a serial number. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it says Prada on the bottom. They are well-made shoes. And again, they're definitely leather inside. I can't seem to find these online anywhere. So I don't want to sell them if they're fake. I mean, I'll sell them if somebody wants them, but I just want to know if they're real or not. They're a size seven. Um, and these were $9.99, so I took the chance on whether they're real or fake, because I know the holograph is a big style right now. Um, those shoes right there are really not a big deal, they're just men's, um, what are they? Robert, Paul Frederick, and I was, they're really nice shoes, I'm just gonna clean them up and, um, sell them if I can get them clean. And those were five dollars. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Random. Random alert. So <laughs> I know I'm past the trend of the feathers in the hair, but I always wanted to do it and I never wanted to pay the price. And these were 49 cents, so I got one for my daughter too. And I'm gonna do it and I don't care. It doesn't even really look like a feather, but it's summer. It's feather time um next was this to me um phone case and credit card holder i believe this is for a five four or five it's pretty old it's pretty small so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with it i may cut this out and just use it as a little credit card holder because i do have a to me suitcase um actually i have a couple of them and I might use this for travel or I might sell it. I'm not sure. So that was 50 cents at Amvets. Sorry. Um, okay, so this was $2.50 from the Goodwill. And it is a Brighton wallet. It's brand new. It must have had like a strap. I think it was like a clutch of some sort. Um, it's brand new. It still has the 95 $95 tags inside. I figured it was still cute for a wallet. Um, maybe somebody can fix it. I'm not sure. So that was $2.50. Next was this coach wristlet. And I've actually found this guy before. And it was $2.98. It's in good condition. It's pretty clean. Needs to be wiped down a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty clean. 
So that was $2.98 from Amvets. Um, this next thing I got on Craigslist, or eBay, I'm sorry. I got this for a friend of mine, and I'm actually really disappointed, especially now that I see it in the light. And I may have to contact the seller, because I just bought this. Um, it says, tequila is not my friend, bacon, hashtag bacon, egg, and cheese, please, by Kate Spade. And she said it was a little wear, but this is pretty freaking dirty. And it smells like somebody spilled coffee all over it. I'm going to see if I can get it clean. Yeah, it definitely smells like coffee or something. I hope it's not pee. I'll be pissed. But anyways, it was $11 free shipping, something like that. But I really wanted this one because it's an inside joke between us. And brand new, these are 70, 50 to $70 online. So I did not want to spend that as a joke, but 11 I was fine with. So I'm just going to have to see if I can get it clean. Um, next was this Dooney and Burke bag. I love these bags, but I have a neck issue, and they're, this bag is so heavy. It's in pretty good condition. This has wear. I mean, it, it is a vintage bag, and it's got the crossbody, and this was $3. needs to be cleaned. I don't have time or patience to do it, so there's that. Um, the next thing was this coach bag. Okay, so this is totally not my style or something I would spend a lot of money on, but Plato's Closet and Clothes Mentor were having their clearance sale, and all their clearance purses, whatever, were $2, and this was 2 bucks. So how can you not buy a good coach purse for 2 bucks? It was $50 originally. This is the inside. And I'm going to start, I think, a Depop, I think is what it's called. And you'll see some of these on there. So if you're interested, I will be putting the link as soon as I get it figured out. I just have to see what it's all about. Um, I know a lot of people ask for to buy some of my finds. And I do not feel comfortable doing it on eBay or anything like that. So I would think about opening a Depop or Poshmark. Um, I just know there's a lot of vindictive people out there and I just don't want to deal with the drama. I've seen it happen to other YouTubers and I just don't want to deal with the drama. So next, this was also from my savers trip that had a coach bag for $20 that was canvas and filthy and this was $5. It is an excellent condition. Beautiful, beautiful bag. Beautiful leather. This is the inside. Here is the Creed. And again, it was $4.99. I like the little fringe um, tassel zipper pull. I know you see those pretty girls in the back. Um, okay, next was this Michael Kors bag. I got this on offer up and it was $10. It is the Lana bag. The leather is really, really nice. It needs to, I need to get these wrinkles out. Um, so I'm going to condition it and get the wrinkles out as best I can. Um, the inside just needs to be wiped down. I'd never even seen this bag. Like she had it listed for quite a while. Um, and she started it, I think at 40, then went down to 25 and then went down to 10. And I was like, you know, and I'd never seen it. And I was like, for $10, I'll go take the ride. And it's a beautiful, beautiful leather. Um, just needs to be cleaned and get those wrinkles out. It is missing the strap, but, um, definitely worth $10. Uh, next was this fossil crossbody bag. It is the vintage line. Beautiful leather again. This was five dollars. This is the inside. And lately my Goodwills have been a disaster. A disaster every time I walk in there's like three or four baskets full of shoes and purses and that's how I found the coach shoes the Tory Burch shoes and this um, 
and this bag. So this was $5. Very nice. Very nice bag. I'm not a fossil girl, although I am starting to get into them. Um, they are really nice leather. But I get stuck on one brand and then that's... I get obsessed with one brand and that's what I do. Um, so now I know Vince Camuto is not a super expensive brand. I mean, it's expensive, but this was just such a beautiful, soft leather bag. It was $8, which again, I don't know who price is there, but it is so, so pretty. I love this dusty rose color. This is the back and it is just so soft. So, so incredibly soft. This is the inside. I mean, it's it's like new. And here is the Vince Camuto tag. And that's the thrifted items. Now for these two items in the back. So, this girl had on... Facebook. She had this one. I saw this one. Um, in case you don't know, if you are on Facebook groups, uh, like different shopping groups and stuff, you can mark um, like Louis Vuitton and there's a, a note alert set. So every time somebody lists a Louis Vuitton, I get an alert on my phone. So I got the alert. I checked this and I was like, ooh. And she said, um, all it said was Louis Vuitton bag, um, negotiable. So I look and I see she had another one, but the other one wasn't showing up for some reason when you search Louis Vuitton. I don't know why, but anyways, so I, I message her and she's like, not really answering me. I was like, okay, well, how much do you want? And are they authentic? And can you send me more pictures and blah, 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 blah. Finally, after like two days, because now I'm like, I need these bags. Finally, after two days, no, the next day, she sends me a message and she's like, um, oh, are they still available? She answers that. Yes. Now, I'd already sent her other ones. Yes, they're available. Can you send me some pictures? Doesn't respond. When are you available to me? And she says, today before five. I said, how much do you want for them? And she's like, 40 a piece. I was like, what? I was like, so they're not real? And she's like, honestly, she's like, I don't know. She was like, they were given to me by an ex. She was like, I don't know anything about these. I don't care. Um, so sometimes it's a red flag because, oh my God, every time somebody's got a purse, Louis Vuitton for sale, oh, it was my mother's or it was my grandmother's. I don't know. Come on. That is like the biggest excuse ever. Like, really? So she was like, she's like, all I can tell you is they are real leather. She sent me some pictures of the inside and stuff. I was like, you know what? I was like, I'll have to get them authenticated. I was like, I'll give you $30 a piece. She's like, fine. So I'm still kind of on the fence. I'm like, I don't know. They're probably super cheap knockoffs. Uh, da, da, da. And I get to her house and she was like, um, I mean, like I stalled to the last minute because I was just like going to say, forget it. I go to her house, and she lives in this beautiful, big, huge house in, like, very expensive area. And um, she had some other purses for sale. She had some, like, Oriani bags and um, a Christian Dior bag that wasn't my style and something else. And I know those were all real. So she is like, oh, my God. She's like, I have gotten so many emails on these bags. She's like, the one girl really wanted this one, and she was, like, begging me not to sell it and that she would give me um, triple what I was going to give her. She was like, but I told her I couldn't do that and if you didn't show up, she could have it. I was like, well, I'm here and I'll take them. And I still have to get them looked at. They have all the right markings and everything. And OMG, sorry, let me get my junk out of there because I used it today. If there was a smell of vision these bags smell amazing. I don't know if they're real or not. If they are fake, they are definitely 100% leather. Definitely, without a doubt, leather. Um, they are beautiful. Beautiful. And this one, oh my god. Like, seriously? Like, I wish you guys could smell these bags. 
um, without a doubt, they are 100% leather. Well, you know, not the canvasy part. Um, and this is the kimono bag. And this, I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, I mean, it looks, smells, and feels real, but that doesn't mean anything. It could just be a really, 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 really good fake. Um, but even if it is for $30, like, I am 100% okay. Now, I'm not going to debate about fake bags and all the other nonsense. Do what you want to do. Don't do it. I don't care. Um, I would never buy, like, a fake um, Michael Kors bag or Kate Spade bag or one of those because you can totally get like they have these purse parties and they're like $70, $80 if you need a bag, Michael Kors bag holla at me because I can get you one for a lot less than $70, $80 that's going to fall apart Um, this wallet I've already had uh, authenticated I have got that a while back it's my little makeup bag Um, but I mean, that's the only thing I have a problem with is that they're selling these terrible, which I did buy one at a garage sale for $5 just so I can do a video on how to authenticate Michael Kors. Oh, no, I'm, I lied. It was 3 bucks. She wanted 5 I gave her 3 Um, I mean, people, she paid $80 for this. $80 freaking dollars. Like, you can totally find it if you look. But that's the thing. A lot of people want it easy. You know, a lot of people want to walk into a store and get it for $80 or go to a purse party and get it for $80, not wait and look. And that's why I do get so many good deals because I wait. I'm a waiter. I'll wait it out. I don't care. I don't need it today, tomorrow, or next week. I'll wait. It'll come about eventually. So that is my haul. Oh, I love them. So I will be having them authenticated. I also have a couple other things that I needed to get authenticated. And I'll let you know. Um, I do have some update videos on a couple other things that will be up soon. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe so you can see my awesome finds. And as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.